This is Ming the Money Alchemist. My intention for this podcast is that it amps up our manifesting game for this year. Each call will play with a topic related to money and we'll have a practice and we're going to have some fun around it. Please join me and we're going to have a great time. Hey everyone, so here we are, December, the last month of 2021. I, for one, am happy to welcome 2022. So this month, I kind of wanted to share with you this theory called the doubling time theory. Um, My good friend Lisette and I have been studying consciousness for this past year for GVU, Good Vibe University, and we've been presenting different things on consciousness each month. So the last month... In October and November, we were studying doubling time theory, and I had never heard of it before. And when she showed it to me, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even understand it. It was way over my head. However, you know how much I love quantum physics, and this was quantum mysticism. And I was like, okay, I am determined to understand this as well as grasp it, as well as talk about it, and as well as practice it. So with that being said, it is a French scientist who has actually won an award for this theory. His name is Jean-Pierre Garnier-Mollet, and he talks about how we have a double. Now, that may not surprise you. We've seen lots of movies on, you know, doubles and things like that. But he talks about how, now this falls right into the law of attraction as well, every possibility exists before you, like zillions of them, right? It isn't until you choose You choose a possibility. You choose a timeline. Now, if you think about it, your double is on another timeline. So there's three speeds, which this is very interesting to me, past, present, and future. And they're all at different speeds. So I've talked about on the podcast how to go back in time. And I've practiced this actually many times. And it does change your future. What if you could talk to your future self in the future, which is your double? I love the fact that you can do this. So when you do do connect to your double in the future, you give yourself intuition and instinct and things come in to help you make an informed decision. So, right, it gives a total new meaning to talking to yourself. So what I love about this is when I listen to him on YouTube, he speaks in French and then there's an interpreter that translates it into English. Um, I kept hearing in my head, he kept saying, this is not a technique. This is a principle. This is not a technique. It is a principle. So when you think about it, the law of attraction is a principle. Whether you believe it in or not, it's going to happen, right? Like I had said before, if you believe in affirmations or you don't believe in affirmations, you're still affirming. So this principle on the doubling effect already exists. It's already out there. It's just for us to understand it and realize that it's there. And you don't have to do anything. So what I thought about is, if we don't need to do anything, there's no process. Basically, I'm done with the podcast. (laughs) But here's what you do do, is right before you go to sleep, you present to your higher self your issues or your problems or whatever it is. And you don't do anything. You just It's almost like setting an intention, I think. And you connect to your future self. So your future self literally will solve some of these problems to where they don't even show up on your radar. Or your future self will give you some intuition the next day or give you some ideas or sense, I don't know, I think it's somehow your future self connects to you and tells you. What's interesting is that I've been practicing this, but I haven't been able to quote to prove it to give you guys an example, but I've been practicing it for a couple months and I don't know, it feels different. I was telling Lisette that sometimes my third eye even feels a little bit different, like it, like it tickles or something. So we're always looking for something to do. We're always looking for a practice, but there isn't a practice on this one. So I don't know, maybe Google, Google him. I really do hope that you guys will try this. I think this is the actually, if there is a secret, this is the secret. And it's connected to everything else as well. So... On the next podcast, I'm going to share some more about the doubling theory. Thanks for joining me and listening in. Please go to manifestbluemoney.com for a free chapter to download from my book, Money Blues to Blue Money. See you next time.